good morning students welcome back in the second video as we have started chapter number 6 of biology that is human circulatory system and in the previous video we have done parts of human circulatory system that is blood function of blood and the composition of blood composition means what is the blood made up of then we have done the differences between red blood cells white blood cells and blood platelets and i have given you home task also so hope that you have revised this topics and done your home task now we will do next topic that is blood vessels blood vessel is also the part of the human circulatory system so there are three types of blood vessels present in our body these are the arteries veins and capillaries so type of blood vessels are arteries veins and capillaries so one by one we will discuss about these three blood vessels so all the blood vessels are connected in a way that form a continuous path in the body so what is the work of the arteries the blood contains the oxygen and minerals as well as the food so these arteries help to transfer these thing to the different body parts so arteries basically they have the oxygen rich blood means arteries are the oxygenated carrier and veins are the vessels which contain carbon dioxide blood means arteries contain the oxygen rich blood and the veins contain the deoxygenated or carbon rich blood and capillaries are mostly the bridge between arteries and the vein so here in the picture also you can see these red color vessels are arteries and this blue color vessels are known as veins and in between very thin capillaries are present so here in the flow chart you can see arteries carry oxygenated blood from heart and it gives to the capillaries arteries are very thick walled we will discuss the difference after this arteries are very thick walled because the blood forcefully or pushed by the heart then to if blood will come very forcefully and the arteries walls are very thin then it can burst so to minimize the pressure they have very thick wall then this oxygenated blood gives to the capillaries capillaries are very thin when arteries divided into when divided into very thin vessels they are known as the capillaries capillaries are much thinner as compared to the arteries and the veins so capillaries when oxygen rich blood comes to the capillaries from capillaries the tissue absorb or take in the oxygen from capillaries and give out the carbon dioxide from the capillaries give to the capillaries and their carbon dioxide rich uh, blood comes to the vein and from vein it will go to the heart so this is a continuous path so that oxygen rich blood come from the heart it is taken by the artery and artery gives to the capillaries in the when capillaries reach to the tissues tissue absorbs or collect the oxygen from them and give out the carbon dioxide and from that vein the carbon dioxide again goes to the heart through blood so i have made this flow chart in my copy also you can see from heart the blood through arteries goes to the capillaries in capillaries tissues take oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide so capillary is basically the bridge between arteries and the veins then the carbon dioxide rich blood is taken by the veins and again it goes to the heart so it is a regular continuous path hope that you have understand this now come to the difference between these three so arteries you can see the diagram also arteries are very thick elastic wall elastic to minimize the pressure and veins are thinner and elastic because thin because they are taking the carbon dioxide back from the body parts to the heart so blood is not forcefully pushed 
by the body organs as compared to the when heart pressurize or forcefully push the blood towards the arteries and capillaries they are extremely thin walls these are very thin as compared to the arteries in the vein then second blood flows with pressure because heart push the blood and in veins blood flow is slow with low pressure because it contain the carbon dioxide and from the body part it is not flows very uh, with very pressure or very forcefully and third one capillary blood flow is extremely slow in the capillaries because in capillaries only exchange of gases take place then come arteries carry blood away from the heart so here you can see from heart to organ so arteries main work to take the blood from heart and gives to different body organs and in veins veins collect the blood from the organs and carry it toward the heart so both are doing the opposite work arteries they give take from heart and gives to organs and in veins from organ to veins and from veins again to the heart hope you understand this and in between the capillaries are present so that it can help to exchange the gases between the tissues of these organs next come to the third point carry oxygen rich blood which i have already told you arteries carry oxygenated blood or oxygenated or oxygen rich blood and the veins contain the carbon dioxide rich body blood from all the body parts to the heart so veins are basically contain the carbon dioxide and capillaries allow the exchange of substance through their thin walls in between the tissues but when we talk about the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary veins means the artery which goes towards the uh, lungs and the vein which comes from the lungs contain the oxygen and carbon dioxide that we will discuss afterwards and third ones arteries do not have the walls walls mean the gates because from arteries blood go to the different body organs but veins have the walls because these walls help them to stop the flow of blood towards back flow of the blood if they do not have the walls the blood will come back to the body organ so minimize this or to stop this they have the walls so that blood reach to the heart only doesn't come back to the organs and capillaries also do not have the walls now we have already studied here in arteries artery carry oxygen rich blood from the heart and veins contain the carbon dioxide rich blood from the heart but when we talk about the pulmonary vein so it bring carbon dioxide uh, it gives oxygen to the heart but when we talk about the pulmonary artery it gives carbon dioxide towards the lungs and it gives to the heart so here in the book also you can see pulmonary vein it is the only vein that carry oxygen rich blood blood and pulmonary artery is the only artery that carry carbon dioxide rich blood which we have already studied otherwise vein only contain carbon dioxide but in pulmonary vein it contain the oxygen and arteries always contain oxygen but pulmonary artery contains the carbon dioxide in pulmonary veins blood from lungs to the heart it brings blood from lungs to the heart and in pulmonary artery it take blood from heart to the lungs so basically vein contain oxygenated blood and the pulmonary artery contain the deoxygenated blood now come to the test yourself these are the matchups red blood cells they help they have the hemoglobin means the red color is due to the presence of hemoglobin second white blood cells they help or the protection from the diseases they give protection against the diseases arteries they have the inhalation means oxygen rich 
blood then comes to the blood platelets they help in the clotting or to stop bleeding of the blood hope that you have understand the topic and now it's time for the home task so today's home task is draw and label artery veins and capillary in your school notebook you have to draw and label artery vein and capillary so take care students meet you in the video number 3